Okay, next product I'm going to show you is a sieve for the garden I've bought. Practical stainless steel garden sieve with four interchangeable mesh parts and they come in sizes 3mm, 6, 9 and 12mm. £23.17 including delivery from Amazon. There are plenty of these stainless steel sieves that come with three interchangeable parts for about £17, £18 but I wanted the the range of um, hole sizes so I can do different stuff with it. Um, let me just click on the actual products information. Yeah, I purchased this on the 30th of April and it arrived on the 5th of May, so that's good. There's a bigger picture of it and then you can obviously, on Amazon, you can click on the other pictures to get different, get an idea of what the sieve hole sizes are. Um, I've opened the box already and it just seems that you just slot these on they don't seem to lock in place they just kind of you just kind of put them in there anyway let's have a look here let's have a look at the information so they're saying that that is 30 centimeters across I'm going to measure that in a second with a ruler and show you and obviously it's for gardening or when you're weeding dealing with compost blah 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 in fact I'm going to use this to pour buckets of water out of my pond use the smallest sieve size to catch the tadpoles going through and then I'm going to dump out the water from my pond because it's got all stinky and smelly so that's why I bought it uh, let's just have a look there's the sizes product dimensions they say are 32 by 31.8 by 8.6 centimeters I'll measure that in a second date first available 30th of August 2015 so it's a fairly new product Reviewers have given it 4.2 out of 5 stars. Okay. Um, there's the scores. Anyway, so £23.17. Let's now show you that. Okay. Oh, where's my ruler? Where's my ruler going? Oh. oh, hold on. Let me just get my. Ruler. I'm just going to dump out the interchangeable parts. So the main part looks like this. Stainless steel. Yep, that is 30 centimetres spot on. From measuring from the inside of the metal there. And that goes to the outside. So 30 centimetres across. Put my hand there, give you an idea. So it's not a huge one, but that's decent enough. That would fit over most buckets. And then you've just got these two metal um, beams that go across there that are to hold things in place. So at first I thought, oh god, it's gone rusty already. That's just the um, the welding process it makes it kind of look, it's got that same kind of rusted colour, but that's just how they've welded to stick the bits of metal together. <laughs> um, oh, try not to film myself in the reflection. Let me just attempt to film the width of it somehow without filming myself so they said this was eight centimeters didn't they uh, no it's not I thought it didn't seem like that look at that spot the difference from the very outside you can see I've got that at the exact right spot there to there that's five and a half centimeters deep uh, five and a half centimeters is not eight so I've got another thing to complain about Amazon today. That's, that's even less than 5.5, it's like 5.3. Let's try and get it as accurate as I can while I film this. Okay. That's about spot on there. Yeah, that's spot on on that side. To get to there, okay, it's about 5 points. Hmm, it's hard to do. 5.7 maybe, 5.7 centimetres deep, 5.7 is not 8 point something, so I'm not happy with that, be careful that, although it's not razor sharp, the bottom of this is, you know, you can feel it's, yeah, it is actually sharp there, you can cut your finger on that, that's not, see it's kind of dented there, where there's some bit that's been 
maybe that's where a seam has been welded together but yeah this is fairly sharp at the bottom anyway let's have a look at these so this is the smallest size sieve hole let's attempt to measure these They're supposed to be three millimeters i think um yeah, it's close enough to three. If I try and if I get that right on there, one, two, three, that's more like four millimeters actually. Hard to measure something as small as this, but let's try again. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, that's close enough. Three mil, okay. That's, if I put my hand underneath, you can see how small the holes are. What can I put underneath there to, that's a, that a lot of people have got to give it an idea of scale? Uh, oh, anyway, you know what three millimetres is. So that's the smallest size. Um, next size up seems to be this one. Let's do a quick measurement of that. And that appears to be five, that's about six millimeters. I make it that size. Next one, Get a flat surface, line it up. That's that's about nine millimeters. The next one. And the last one, hmm, that's quite big holes there. That appears to be about, that's about 13 millimeters, 1.3 centimeters. And you can see they're quite big holes. You can get, start to put your fingers through those ones. And anyway, again, it, uh, when I first opened it, I thought, oh, it's all rusty. Well, maybe that is rust, <laughs> but that's where they've, welded um the outer bits together yeah that does look rusty actually rusty out of the box hmm and this is supposed to be stainless steel see that so i hope this is going to last and that's again that's the weld it makes it look all dodgy but that's just how it's the, you know the heat treatment to the metal anyway and it just seems that you simply place the sieve part in there and it gets held in place so once, once heavy material is on there, it's fine, and then you can simply turn it upside down and it'll drop out. So there you go. Uh, let's have a quick look at this. You get this leaflet in the box from Practical, the product. If you're not 100% satisfied with this product, da -da -da -da. well, I've just shown you the size. What did I say? It was 5.7 centimeters. Let's show you quickly. It comes in a box like this. Make sure I don't film my um, address anywhere. Here's the official sticker on the side. Three, six, nine, and twelve millimeter sizes made in China. What a surprise! Um, okay, there's a little. Oh, so that's it. That's that box and this. The product box also then came in um, an Amazon box like this. And just to confuse matters, this has an Amazon Prime sticker that was sealing it. And I didn't use Amazon Prime. So I've got to check. I haven't somehow been signed up to Amazon Prime. That's confusing Amazon. That's not good. Anyway, one last thing. Let's go back to the uh, Amazon website and check what they say about the sizes. Yeah. 32 by 31 by 8.6 centimeters well that's that's not correct so the cell has got a problem i've just measured it as 5.7 that's way off so i'm gonna I'll, I'll contact the seller and tell them that and see what they have to say about it um let me go I just need to go back to my Sorry, I've just got to go back to my account just to check something. 
Yeah, okay. So it was actually sold by Practical Products. They've got their own Amazon account. So I will contact them and uh, see what they've got to say about the discrepancy in sizes. Other than that, product looks fairly good, even though it's got a bit of rust and it's brand new. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.